Asuka. 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 Well, during the holiday of Sukkot, according to the Jewish law, you're supposed to build like a hut and live in it for the holiday of Sukkot. This sukkah behind me is composed of signs written by ho real homeless people in California. I think this thematically really relates to the holiday of Sukkot. We leave our permanent home and we move into a temporary dwelling, which raises questions of what exactly is really permanent in our lives. There's a lot of rules. The most essential element of the sukkah is called the schach, which is the roof. The material that covers the roof has to have grown in the ground, but no longer be growing in the ground. Do you have to be able to see the stars through the roof? Since we're in New York City, I might just say, see the sky. But it has to provide more shade than sun. And allow for rain to come in. But it also can't be hammered in with nails. Can't use anything metal on the roof. It's also supposed to guide the eye towards the sky or towards God. You have to have at least two and a half walls. It could be built uh, on a whale. You could build your walls out of uh, elephants. On the back of a camel, but we didn't, we didn't utilize either of those. <laughs> to us, a sukkah is a place where you take a moment to go inside a temporary structure where you can look out and reflect on the world and the life outside with the people that you care about most.